All right, guys, before we get started in today's video, go to lsnasty.com, first link in the description below. Pick up your entries to win my Caprice 500 horsepower, badass daily driver, cold AC, four doors, does burnouts, makes a lot of noise. What more do you want? And just got it back from the paint shop. It looks absolutely sweet with this red to match my F450. It's on some 20 inch wheels, Brembo brakes. This thing has got the fries that'll cross your eyes. lsnasty.com, first link in the description below. Every dollar you spend is an entry to win. Plus, we got triple entries on the swag packs, which got a bunch of different merchandise. We got some new shirts, some hats, some hoodies. We got some LS Nasty Racing. Uh, I call them winter caps, but some of you guys call them beanies. I guess I'm old school. Who knows? But go to lsnasty.com, check out the merchandise, get entered to win this badass ride. Also, guys, before we get rolling in today's video, I do want to let you guys know we are doing... Uh, toys for tots here at ls nasty our link is in the description below i'm gonna ask you guys if you have a couple extra dollars you got some toys put it in the mail send it to us we're gonna try to fill a couple of these boxes up with toys and gifts that you guys send us so our link is in the description below i'll put it our address is in the description below i'll put it up on the screen any toys any gifts anything that you guys would feel like to give to the toys for tots send it our way we'll get it to them enjoy today's video talking about the Colorado. A lot of you guys wanted a Colorado update. I actually went and saw it yesterday, got to lay my eyes on it, and I have missed old girl. Not having it here at the shop makes you kind of forget about it, or at least it's not like on my mind. So all these cars here, like the Glizzard, I walk by it every day. It's on my mind all day, every day. I'm thinking about the build. I'm thinking about the parts I want to put on. I'm thinking about the vision that I have with the car and how I want to look, you know, in the end kind of been lacking up with the Colorado I really haven't been thinking like that and it's a shame because I have a lot of my heart and pride and joys in that build because it is kind of taking place of the boosted rooster some of you guys again if you're new to the channel you don't know what's going on but I was building the boosted rooster at one point in time it is no longer being built a lot of the parts that I've gathered for the Boosted Rooster build, which is supposed to be a 99 Trans Am, uh, was supposed to be an all-out build. We we're going to try to set the LS stock block record. A lot of that stuff I've either sold or repurposed. Anything that I received on sponsorship has been repurposed uh, into the Colorado build. Some of the parts that I sold that were specific to the Trans Am uh, has been sold off like the body and, and you know some of the Lexan some of the stuff like that But anything I receive on sponsorship repurposed into the Colorado and the Colorado is kind of in like that weird like limbo as far as builds go I wanted to build a really badass lightweight chassis I paid for that I feel like but it's a truck it doesn't really have any fiberglass. It's all steel all glass It's gonna be heavier the whole point of the stock block build was going to put the baddest stock block ever created into an extremely light super weight chassis and go out there and, and you know in i guess kind of kick puppies in the stock block stuff but really just try to go out there and set a record so you know that's where the whole build with uh, tk performance really started my whole relationship with kevin was building that stock block motor and it went to a good home and i think it's going to whoop a lot of ass but we're not running the stock block in the Colorado. We're not running the LS in the Colorado. I've mentioned previously that we've converted it over to big block. And that means a couple things. First off, first and foremost, the power plant changes into a big block, which I've never run a big block before. Uh, we got the 481X, which is kind of like a Hemi big block hybrid, but this is a true conventional headed big block. Uh, I was able to get a, what I think a really, really nice piece on a good deal. And we're hopefully gonna go really fast with that. But, the first thing that we got to change is the turbo kit. So nothing will fit, obviously, going from LS to conventional headed big block. So everything's up for sale. I actually sold all this stuff here to uh, my buddy Jake. I'm going to bring this to him uh, tomorrow, actually, and uh, drop this off. So this was the first turbo kit that I really built. Phil helped me with it. Uh, Phil did like the wastegate placements, and uh, it's a really simple 
simple, you know, as you can see here, hot side. The hot side is extremely small, compact, good wastegate placement. Uh, I use really nice material, super thick uh, stainless, no double slip. Some of you fabricators at home will be like, why are you not running double slip? I'm up in the air with the double slip. Some people run them and swear by them. Oh, we got one going on Slick Rick. The Black Sheep doesn't have a double slip. We've had no issues with the hot side. So uh, this right here is what we got. We got the dual three inch V-bands go on the end of your Flowtech headers. I actually lost or misplaced my set of Flowtech headers. So I ordered a new set and got them sent to Jake. So uh, this right here will bolt up right onto it. Uh, and then we got the, I sold the kit complete. So I got the blow off valve in the car. Uh, we got the hot side with two wastegates. We got the absolutely massive 106 millimeter precision turbo, large frame deal. I, I really feel like we're gonna go pretty fast with this thing. Uh, kind of sad not gonna be able to run it, but I think it'll be all right. This thing right here is is a unit, you know, 150 AR, uh, big, big unit here. Oh God. Then we got the cold side, which was uh, pretty compact. As you can see, again, I, I run everything. Most of my intakes and stuff will kind of be going up out the hood like this. I really like that look with the carb style throttle body with the billet elbow. Some people say it's not the best for air distribution, but we've gone pretty fast with it. We are pretty spot on with our individual cylinder tuning as far as uh, each cylinder not re requiring a lot of individual tuning. So uh, this thing right here, V-band on one side off the turbo. It's got the uh, dual seal style clamp on uh, on this side. It's really specific to what throttle body you're running. Some of them have them on there. Some of them you have to weld on, but this one was actually going to a Holly. Yes, it was a Holly 105 throttle body with a dual seal on there. So very simple. Got your blow valve flange, blow valve in the truck. And then the exhaust, which I've got right here. Hopefully there's no spiders in it. The exhaust is uh, done by our favorite fabricator, Stephen Eads, Rock Solid Motorsports. If you guys haven't been checking him out and all the updates that he's been putting out on Slick Rick, you need to head over to his YouTube channel because he's got a bunch. He's, he's pretty much almost wrapped up with the entire turbo kit, just left uh, putting the wastegates on and doing the exhaust. So he's knocking it out. He's got all the coverage for the Slick Rick build on his YouTube channel. It's in the link in the description below. But this right here, um, as you can see, before I started welding all this goofy stuff on there, I called him up and I said, hey, I need to make the tightest radius that we can do and come out the hood for balancer clearance. And this is what he came up with. It actually worked, so everything worked well. So all of this goes um, on to its next owner. And it's kind of a little bit, a little bit sad because I was really excited to run the LS stuff being you know, LS Nasty, obviously we want to be good with LS stuff. I think we do uh, make everyone proud with the LS cars that we got, especially the Glizzard coming out. I really think that's going to be cool. But I'm excited to run the big block. And with that, we talk about the power adder for the big block. Most of the stuff that we run around here, like I'm using the, uh, the Silverback Z06 as a tripod here. TKM 427LS. The Black Sheep TKM 427LS, the Glizzard 460 cubic inch LS, the Big Block for the Colorado. All the machine work is done by TKM Performance, which worked out great keeping it in the family. Uh, but it is a 500 cubic inch conventional headed Big Block, some very nice heads, TND rocker arms. Um, it's got a very nice crank, it's got aluminum rods. I mean, it's got, it's got all the stuff you need to go extremely fast. So we talk about power adders. This is a large frame 106 turbo. We had the discussion, do we want to run just one large frame turbo? Do we want to go with twin turbos? Me personally, I like the LART single. When you get to the big block range, then you're talking about the Hearts turbo deal, which we got going on Slick Rick. And not that I don't want two builds to kind of be the same, but that thing's going to be, you know, hopefully well into the three second range. And with Colorado, I'd like to do something similar, but... I think I'm gonna do it with twins. So uh, let me grab this turbo right here. All right, so I'm out of breath for picking these things up. Uh, this is just for a little bit of comparison. So we have our 98 millimeter GT55 base turbo, Garrett core from Force Inductions. Gone very fast this turbo. We've gone 425 with this turbo. Very similar to what we have on the car now. We have the Gangster 98 on there now, which is very similar, but 
it's got all his little goodies. This thing right here is just the large frame precision. So as you can see, footprint wise, it's quite large. The 118, which is like the go-to turbo for a lot of big single stuff, is very similar in footprint. Obviously a little bit bigger if this is a 106, uh, but the footprint, the actual build, the large frame is the same. On the Colorado, what I plan to do is twin GT55 based 94 millimeter turbo. So the actual physical footprint of this will be the same. The impeller wheel will be, well, as far as the taped up part will be the same, but the actual impeller wheel will be slightly smaller. Uh, we're going to do the V-banded housing. So if you look at the exhaust housings on these, I really don't want to pick this thing up. It's covering spiders, but spiders terrify me. This thing right here, T6 housing with the four bolt flange, it'll be a much smaller AR. So this is a 1.50 AR. 1.50 AR. When we go to the twin turbos, it'll be a V-band housing. So it'll be like a three inch inlet V-band like that. I'm not sure if it's three or three and a half, so don't quote me. But the AR will be a, I think it's a 114 AR from Jose at Force Induction. So very large twin turbos, but yeah, I don't know. I, I never in my mind thought that I would have a big block with twin 94s, but I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go with Jose's TDI lineup. So we've run his TDI lineup on a couple different cars. I have one for 50 chance, but not his GT55 base stuff. We have his S400, which is the Borg Warner style. So if I'm confusing you right now, if you hear GT55, that's a Garrett core. If you hear S400, that is a Borg Warner core. A lot of guys out here with their stuff, you'll see Borg Warner turbos. Some cars that we've had with the Borg Warner turbos, Brown Sugar, the Black Sheep, Calmero has a S400 style turbo. Uh, this is a little bit smaller than the GT55 frame. So I think that the twin 94 GT55 based turbos is going to absolutely haul ass as far as the packaging. Who knows at this point because they are large. You got to think we have just one of these on the black sheep. Imagine two. So it's going to be interesting to see. But uh, this is everything we're getting rid of for the Colorado. I'll do a video this upcoming week of the actual motor, the engine components, and then I think the only thing I have left to order for that is head studs. So once you get the head studs in, we can put it all together, get the Colorado back. It's actually coming back when you guys see this. It'll be Sunday, so I hope to have it back here in the shop by Wednesday at the latest. Uh, really pushing to get it back now because it's time we start putting some work in on that. We have almost all the parts here for it, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to make it happen and um, and get it done, so... Just a quick little Colorado update. I know some of you guys have been asking. I just want to let you guys know. Get excited for the power plant. Big Block Nasty is a thing. And groundbreaking news, Coyote Nasty is a thing as well. Our lineup is absolutely growing. So we're going to have Small Block Ford Nasty, LS Nasty, Coyote Nasty, and Big Block Nasty. So uh, get excited. Go down to lsnasty.com, which is the first link in the description below, to pick up all of your merchandise for your favorite power plants and get entered to win my badass Caprice here. I've talked to it previously in this video it is absolutely sick every dollar you spend is an entry to win this beautiful 500 horsepower four-door daily driver could be taking you to work on monday so go to lsnasty.com hit the link in the description check out the new merchandise get our swag box triple entries and we'll see you guys in tomorrow's upload he get to buy this round john doc got to buy this round the black sheep on the property. He got the five for the next round.